Hello everyone, my name is Rahul. Today I am here to explain about steepest descent algorithm. The contents of this is these are introduction, algorithm, problems and applications and references. Introduction. The definition goes with this. The steep and descent algorithm is an iterative optimization method used to minimize a function by finding the direction of the steep and descent and taking steps in that direction. The algorithm is also known as the gradient descent method and is commonly used in machine learning and optimization and numerical analysis. Algorithm General strategy for gradient method are of two steps. First step is to calculate the search direction and second step is to calculate the step length in that direction to reduce f of x. Search direction means if you are standing at a given point and if you want to find the minimum point you have to travel you can travel in many ways to know in which direction you have to travel we should calculate the search direction and in that direction how much distance you have to travel to find that we have to calculate the step length if we calculate the gradient of the given function then it rapidly increases or decreases the function value so x i 1 equal to x i plus lambda s i search direction si equal to minus gradient fi Grade, gradient descent method it uses the negative of the gradient vector as the direction for minimization and if you want to calculate the maximization then you have to use the positive gradient starting from the initial point initial point can be anything that you can assume and iteratively move along the steepest descent direction until the optimum point is reached. Algorithm Start with a arbitrary point xi, set the iteration number i equal to 1. Step 1 Find the search direction si as s equal to minus gradient of fi. Step 2 Determine the optimal step length lambda in the direction of si and set. The new point can be calculated as follows x i plus 1 equal to x i plus lambda s i. Step 3 Test optimality for the new point x i plus 1. So here is a solved example. Here in this example, we have to minimize the given function. The arbitrary point at the initial guess is from 0, 0. The given function is x1 minus x2 plus 2 x1 x2 plus 2 x1 square plus x2 square first we we are calculating gradient of the given function the formula goes here and the gradient value of the given function is 1 plus x1 plus 2 x2 and minus 1 plus 2 x1 plus 2 x2 in the iteration one at x equal to 0 find the search direction at x1 so we have to find the gradient and we have to substitute the x value x1 points in the given equation and in step 2 we have to calculate the step length so computing the lambda value and x1 for lambda we can directly use this formula s1 transpose s1 divided by s1 transpose s1 h where h is defined as hessian matrix and if we calculate this we will be getting lambda value as 1 Hence the new point is x2 equal to x1 plus lambda 1 s1. The initial guess was 0 comma 0 and we got lambda value as 1 and search direction as minus 1 1. So if we add that the new point will be minus 1 1. Check for optimality. So if we put the new point in the gradient function then we will be getting minus 1 comma minus 1 which is not equal to 0 comma 0. So x is not optimum. So move, in, move to the next direction. In iteration 2, x e, x2, we have to calculate the search direction s2 equal to minus gradient of f of x. So we will be getting 1 comma 1 and we have to find the step length. Uh, by substituting these values, we will be getting the new point as minus 0 0.8 comma 1.2 and we have to further do this iteratively until we get the optimum value in the iteration 3 we will be getting the next new point as minus 1 comma 1.4 which is also not optimum so we move on iterating in the fourth iteration we will get 
0.04 comma minus 0.04 which is approximately equal to 0 comma 0 so x y is optimum if you are not satisfied with the given value then you can further optimize and find the value so on i have written the code in the cpp so this goes with the code here the function given function and this is partial differentiation with x and this is partial differentiation with y and this is the function for the steepest descent algorithm first initially we have set iterations equal to 0 and previous value of x equal to x and previous value of y equal to y while iterations are less than maximum iterations that means we here we are fixing the maximum iterations that we have to reach so until we reach the maximum iterations these while loops goes on so gradient we are finding the gradient partial differentiation with x partial differentiation by and we are updating the value of x and y and finding the value that's it applications are signal processing computer graphics control theory the steepest decent algorithm is used in adaptive filtering and system identification where it is used to adjust the parameters of the filters or systems to match a desired output computer graphics the steepest decent algorithm is used in image and video processing where it is used to minimize the energy function such as image segmentation and texture synthesis control theory the steepest decent algorithm is used in optimal control problems where it is used to find the control input the minimize the cost of the given function so it is also used in neural networks the steepest descent algorithm is one of the optimization algorithms used in training neural networks. In particular, it is used to update the weights of the network during the back propagation process, which is a common method for training neural networks. Forward propagation. The input data is passed through the network and the output is computed. Error computation. The error between the predicted output and the true output is computed using a loss function such as mean squared error. Back propagation. The error is propagated back through the network to compute the gradient of loss function with respect to the weights, weights update. The weights of the network are updated in the direction of steepest descent using the gradient computed in the step 3. The size of the step is determined by learning rate parameter which is chosen to balance converge speed and accuracy. Repeat step 1 to 4 are repeated for a fixed number of iterations or until the convergence criteria are met. So here are the reference from where I learned it. Thank you.